Hey everyone, today I'm going to be installing the power pole drift paddle onto my 10 foot power pole blade. This is a shallow water anchor and I'm just gonna drop it down here and show you. Alrighty, so this comes in handy for a variety of reasons when I'm out on the water. Um, with the press of a button, whether on the key fob or on the foot switch, I can easily just drop this anchor, hold my boat in place. So, you know, I'm fishing in an area that I don't wanna push up onto or I'm netting a fish for someone, or you know, I do a lot of solo fishing when I'm launching my boat, I can just back the boat off the trailer, press a button, the anchor drops down, and then just tie a rope on the front of my boat just to hold it on the dock while I park my truck. So this here comes in handy, as I said, for lots of reasons, but I'm gonna be adding a cool accessory directly onto the blade, and this is the power pole drift paddle. So the drift paddle is really going to come in handy for me when I am trolling or drifting, whether I'm fishing in windy conditions or in current. It's going to help me with boat and speed control. And the installation for this is super easy, so let's get started. So when you order the drift paddle from PowerPole or your local PowerPole dealer, uh, the paddle itself is included along with all the hardware needed to install it, but you will need a 7 16th ounce, not ounce, a 7 16th inch wrench and socket. I'm, I'm so used to saying ounce. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just gonna put the paddle down and go ahead and grab the hardware and tools and get started. Set this stuff down. Okay, so there are two quarter inch bolts on the knuckle here, which I'm gonna go ahead and remove. So I've loosened off the nuts and now I'm just gonna take off the washers and the bolts as well. So these bolts are in here pretty tight. So I'm just gonna keep working that off and pushing on this end of it while I'm loosening it off just to get it out. Okay, there's the first one. All right, there we go, second one out. So for this installation, uh, these are the items I grabbed out of the hardware kit. The two quarter inch bolts, four flat washers, two nylock nuts, the stirrup mount, and then four plastic spacers. Now the kit comes with two sizes of spacers and um, since I'm installing it on the uh, paddle onto the power pole blade, I'm using the longer spacers. The shorter spacers are used for all other power pole models. All right, so I'm just gonna grab up all these items, throw them in my pocket, and start this installation. Just a note I wanted to mention, so the plastic spacers have a protrusion on the one side, and in the installation diagram, it's showing that facing outward, and I actually tried to install it that way, and the stirrup mount would not fit over top of that little groove, so I'm actually gonna flip it around. I mocked it up before, I did this video and I found that it fits perfectly when the protrusion is on the inside. So as you can see, I've got the four plastic spacers on here and I put that protrusion side in which fits perfectly into the holes on the knuckle. And now I'm gonna slide the stirrup mount over top. So I'm gonna get started on the bottom here. Okay, so this one just popped out. I'm gonna put that back in place. And I'm gonna grab my bolt. So I've got a washer, then my bolt. I'm gonna slide that through. Actually, just gotta make sure this is in place. There 
we go. I found it a little tight to get the bolt through, so I'm just gonna use my ratchet here, help it along. All right, so that one's through, and now I'm gonna do the top. Okay, so now I'm just going to slide the stirrup over the plastic spacers on the top. Oh, there we go, that one popped out a little bit. That was much easier. Okay, so I've got that lined up and I'll likely use my socket again just to help get that through. All right, so now I'm just getting that top bolt in and all the way through. Okay, as you can see, both bolts are all the way through and now I'm gonna put another washer and the nylock nut. I'll just get both of those started and then I'll tighten them up. And you don't wanna over tighten this. Just get and get it tight enough. There we go, it's not spinning anymore. Alrighty, so for the next step, I grabbed the two rubber slip-on spike attachments as well as the medium, which is the 7 8 inch rubber insert. Um, I'm gonna be putting these on the spike. So I'm just gonna grab the insert and feed it through. There we go. And I'm ready to install these on the spike. So I'm gonna raise up the anchor slightly just so that I can put the attachments on. And uh, the one with the insert goes on the bottom. Powerpool recommends using water as a lubricant just to slide these up. I actually have a water-based silicone lubricant that I'm gonna be using. So let me just start here. I'll just lift this up a little bit. Just gonna spray it on this cloth a little bit. Okay, so that might be a little bit high, but I'll just put it there for now. And this one shouldn't have any problem going on. So I'm just gonna slide these roughly where I think they're supposed to go. And then once I get the paddle, I can certainly adjust. There we go. All right. And now I'm gonna grab the paddle. But first, I'm actually gonna drop this down again. One more. So the blade itself has these little cutouts here where the attachments are gonna slide through. So I'm gonna start with the top one here and then I can adjust the bottom one. There we go. So that one's in place. And now I can the bottom one on. All right, so now that I've slid these through, I'm gonna twist them back into place and I'll get you to come around on this side and you'll see that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so there's a pin that's already on the drift paddle and then there's another pin in the kit. So the pin in the kit is the one that's going to hold it in place. So I'm just gonna lift this up for now and line this guy up. There we go. So of the two pins on the back here, the longer one is the quick release. So this, this allows me to remove the paddle from the blade if I wish, just by popping that out. The other smaller pin here is spring-loaded and there are seven different positions, seven different holes on the bottom. So just by lifting up and turning, I can angle that paddle in whatever direction I like. When traveling with the drift paddle, whether it is from spot to spot out on the water or you're trailering at home, it is recommended to lock it into that 90 degree position. And this is gonna minimize the wind resistance. 
But that's it. That's uh, all there is to the installation. As you can see, quick and easy. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you below. And uh, I cannot wait to put this thing to work out on the water and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.